Hi, I'm Tom Norland, founder of the Swish Method for Basketball Shooting. This video is devoted to improving your free throw performance. Shooting has become a lost art, and the failure of free throws is the most obvious. As a state high school shooting champion and college player, I gained tremendous practical experience. I've been given a special gift to see the core elements of great shooting, and for the past 20 years my mission has been to share them with others who love the game. My two prior Swish videos are highly rated, and my writings on the subject are read throughout the world. The Swish approach explains and teaches the way of the great shooters. It's a system that's easily understood and repeatable. The Swish free throw is my latest contribution to the game, a powerful way to approach free throws that will help players at all levels, from beginners to experienced professionals. This innovation will surprise you at how simple it can be for everyone. Study it and watch your shot improve. Why is free throw shooting difficult for so many players these days? Is the problem mental, or is it physical, or both? Is it hopeless, or can something be done about it? Well, of course it's not hopeless, or we wouldn't be taking the time to create this video. You see a few players get it down beautifully, shooting high percentages all the time, and they shine in a dark world of mediocre shooting. So let's examine what's currently being performed and taught and how the free throw could become more automatic. Free points for your team. To do that, it's important the skill be approached from a different angle, from a different perspective. Here is a preview of what we'll be teaching in this video. Stance. The common wisdom is to square up. Swish says to have an open stance, up to 45 degrees open. Dipping and inertia. Most players are unaware of the inertia factor, Newton's first law of motion applied to a basketball shot. And often players have been told to not dip. To a swisher, inertia is critical, and dipping is the body's wisdom in action to generate inertia. Flip the wrist. Most players are told to flip the wrist, like they're reaching into a cookie jar, tight wrist and hand. Swishers realize much more repeatable is a pushing action with the arm, and a totally relaxed wrist and hand. The hand flops. Swish offers a simple approach to most shots, including the free throw, jump shot, set shot, and three-point shot, and can also be applied effectively to runners and floaters and fadeaways. For this video, we'll start by looking at the general swish principles as they apply to free throws. As with all of Tom's coaching, when you start this work, your first job is to look back to find out how you do things now, discovering your current way of shooting. Notice both how you shoot and how you think about shooting. What are the rules that you and others have imposed upon your shot? The must-dos and the shoulds you live with? We're going to shake up some of that thinking that isn't working. One more thing before we do this how-now survey. Do it without assessment or judgment. No right or wrong. Just see things the way they are. When you've done that sincerely, then you're ready to learn something new because you'll be able to differentiate the old from the new. Learning is in the gap between where you are and where you want to be. This is an example of the awareness model of coaching the SWISH process uses. At first, your awareness will be minuscule, but with practice, your sense of what's happening will soar. As your awareness antenna are raised and fine-tuned, your ability to coach yourself and your ability to be coached by others increases. Note, you can't overdo awareness in a learning environment. It's how we learn and develop our ability to perform and enrich our experience. Now, let's look at what's real in shooting a basketball and what our suggestions are. Let us declare that a squared up stance is obsolete. It surely came from the two-handed set shot and underhanded free throw days, and for those shots, it's perfectly appropriate. But for the one-handed shooting of today, an open stance gives real benefits. It's simple, more natural, and more instinctive for a one-handed motion, 
Plus, it allows for easier alignment of ball with eye and basket. It's more stable too, and by stepping in with movement, it becomes more powerful. And starting with straight legs is recommended because the down-up action is more powerful and stabilizing than crouching early, stopping, and just going up. Try it both ways and see for yourself. It's like a boxer's stance to throw jabs. Open, forward, brace by the back leg and foot. And note that with an open stance, power can come from the whole body, moving up and forward, not just up. This is huge. If you square up, you can't put any of the body energy into a forward direction or you would fall over. You can only go up or down or side to side. And you have to create any forward movement of the ball with just the upper body muscles, thus engaging smaller muscles that are best minimized. Alignment of the hand and ball with the shooting eye and basket during the setting and release of the ball is critical. If everything is lined up and you know it, you can really let go of worry about direction and just let it fly. The action from the shoulders up is what is called the release. We recommend that it be a constant speed, automatic pushing action to full arm extension, locking the elbow with relaxed wrist and hand. The wrist is so relaxed, ideally, that the hand bounces in the follow through. We call this a push and flop motion. It's done at a speed that can be performed all day long without hurting the elbow, perhaps 70% of maximum. In 2005, Tom had an amazing revelation. He discovered how Sir Isaac Newton's first law of motion, the law of inertia, can be applied to the setting and shooting of a basketball. The law says, an object in motion tends to stay in motion and in the same direction until affected by an outside or unbalanced force. Here's an example of what inertia is. At first, if a ball is not moving, it is what's called an object at rest, and it would require some energy to overcome its inertia to not move. Once it's moving, then it's called an object in motion, and the principles helpful to shooting a basketball start to apply. See how a moving ball will tend to continue moving and in the same direction until affected by an outside force, in this case the player's foot. But now notice the effect if you take the ball itself back and then deliver it online as a rolling or sliding object toward a target, like in bowling or curling. Can you see how much more accurate you become because the object has some energy in the direction you're sending it before it gets released? Accuracy gets dramatically easier and assured. Inertia is why instinctively we want to dip the ball. But how many times have you been told to not dip? Once you understand this new concept applied to basketball, you will always dip as much as you can. Dipping can set up more inertia. Great shooters all dip when they can. With a free throw, if you need extra energy, you can dip it way down to in front of your waist or thighs. So now that you've been introduced to general swish principles, what's a more effective way to approach this simple little shot, the free throw? With help from some friends, Tom discovered two new distinctions that apply to the free throw, the starting point of the ball in hand and the first move with the ball. And a third one, zones, helps you identify where power and alignment and inertia are being generated or not for all shots. From a distance one-third of the way back from your sweet spot to the line, you'll now need a little power from the legs to get the ball to dead center of the basket with good arch. The ball begins at the start position, mid-torso, with everything aligned. 
Let's call this a mini free throw. The little up force action triggers the setting of the ball and the inertia, which triggered the release, which leads to the instinctive choice of angle of release, the trajectory, and finally the follow through. Your goal now is a swish, again and again. Look at these beautiful shots in slow motion. This is the stuff of extraordinary shooting. Open stance. Legs straight at start. Simple pre-shot routine. Strong connection to target. Ball in front, arms relaxed. Up force triggers everything. Ball starts low or moves down and up as arms create inertia. Ball movement accelerates. Catch the inertia. Release is a push and flop, appropriate arch, hold follow through, swish. <laughs> 